This is the Raspberry Ceremony, and it aims to raise awareness about missing and murdered Aboriginal women in Canada. A very large and very passionate crowd of protesters assembled at Toronto Police Headquarters this Valentine's Day. They marched from Young and College to the 519 Church Street Community Centre. that uh, three women died here last year, uh, right after another. One was uh, Bella Lippocan, uh, Eric Gardner, and my daughter, Cheyenne Fox. Your daughter. It's not acceptable. We don't have daughters so we can marry them. We have daughters so we can have grandchildren and sons that create those grandchildren. But my daughter passed away and there was no, nothing happened, nothing became of it. Mm -hmm. And my mother is someone who was uh, beat up at West, and the police dropped her for her file so many times. And she ended up by dying, not right away, but she died several months afterwards in hospital, never got out of hospital. Do you think governments in this country are willing to listen to your message? Definitely not. The latest federal budget promised $5 million every year for five years to help police with missing and murdered Aboriginal women. That falls significantly short of a national inquiry something Aboriginal leaders have demanded for years. Similar marches happened in cities across the country, the oldest one being in Vancouver, where protests about the status of Aboriginal women began 20 years ago. This is the ninth annual Raspberry Ceremony in Toronto.